What's going on guys, Fully here from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube with Nick from customer service, so you've probably never seen him before because he's relatively new, but he always hides in the back in his office. So brought him out to give him in front of the camera. We're gonna do another episode of From the Gallery. Wow, I'm jumbling my words there. So basically we have Taylor in the back, pick 10 trucks. We rate them on a scale of one to 10, one being pretty junky and 10 being awesome. And then uh, just a brief opinion on each one. So we got 10 of them here, just gonna fly through them. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, first one, 2017 Toyota Tacoma on Method NVs, which is the most popular method that we sell. 16 by 8 plus 0, 285 75s, and a two and a half inch lift. So have you looked at it enough to have a number? That's the question. Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right, so I've got a number. Three, two, one, seven. Yeah. Yeah. Seven. It's, <clears throat> I, I love this setup, but I don't like the red. It really throws it off That's for me. That's exactly what I was thinking. I don't think the red really goes too well with the gray. I like the little Supreme sticker he has that matches the wheels, <laughs> but. Yeah, I would've went with like uh, the method bronze finish would've been good yeah, on here. Really like or the standard black is good too. Next one, 2014 Chevy Silverado 1500, 24 by 14s, some Matero AZ 800s, 305 35s, and an eight inch super lift. Got some stretch tires going on. Looks like he did uh, some powder work for the suspension, chrome grill, clear headlights, paint to match mirrors, paint to match, oh no, chrome bumpers. Chrome bumpers. Chrome match the wheels too. I like that. Okay, ready? Ready. Three, two, one, eight. eight. Wow. If we pick the same number every time, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> uh, one with an eight, just cause it could have been higher if the tires weren't as stretched. I'm just not really a big fan of stretched tires. Overall, really clean, but I'm also not a huge fan of chrome. I like chrome in certain situations. Like if you have a chrome bumper and chrome accents and stuff such as this one, I think chrome wheels do good, go good. I have a 2011 F-150 and has a bunch of chrome. I want to put chrome wheels on. I've never been a huge fan of chrome, but I think this does look really good. Yeah, well. like on a Platinum, they do. There's so much chrome going on there. Yeah. You can add polished wheels like that and look pretty good. 2018 Ram 2500 TS 544s in the red finish. 33 12 and a half Ironmans on a rough country level with his tow mirrors flipped out. Interesting, interesting look here. What color is that truck? It like looks sort of brown in this photo, but then these looks more gray. That's, I think it's just a like dark brown color in a Dodge. Okay, from New York. Got a number? Yep. Three, two, one, five. Oh, finally different. Uh, five because Again, with the red wheels, I just don't know. Red wheels are really hot, we sell a ton of them, but every time I see them on a truck, I'm just not quite sure if I if I can get, get on board with that. For me, I would have given it higher if everything was kind of color matched. For me, I'm kind of like a two-tone in that, <clears throat> like you have to have the body one color, and yeah. the wheels another color. There's so. chrome, the brownish gray, and then Red. The red. It doesn't go too well, but I am a Dodge guy, and I'll give him points for the mirrors flipped up because everybody hates on it. <laughs> no, anyways. subtract points for the mirrors. <laughs> this is pretty clean. 2013 Toyota Tundra, specialty forged 008, 24 by 14, 35 by 13 half amps, 7 inch Fabtech, and a 3 inch body. Can't believe someone would run specialty forged wheels and then a body lift. I just, I just don't like body lifts. Oh, it's got a Magnuson supercharger. Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, nine and a half. If he had just a full suspension lift, he'd get the extra half point. Otherwise, I love the headlights, I love the wheels, I love that it's got performance mods, I mean, everything's super clean. It's got dual reservoirs up front, it just looks really nice. It does look nice, but I don't know if it's just because it's a Toyota, they just don't really trip my trigger out too much. Some of them can, they have to be like done right. I like it, but not too special to me. Specialty Ford wheels aren't too special. It's just because you're a hater. <laughs> 2017 F-150 Black Rhinos, 20 by 12s, Falcon Wild Peak MT, 37 by 13 and a half, six and a half inch super lift. So this is different from what we usually see because these are like a full concave wheel. It's not a normal like lip style wheel. It's got a light bar on the front, blacked out grill, black bumpers, interesting. Got a number? Yep. Three, two, one, seven. six. Why seven? I think it looks really cool. He has like a lot of stuff that makes it kind of look like he actually uses it compared to just driving on the road like most people. I mean, it does kind of look like it's sort of like a company show truck. Yeah. I think it would have gone even higher if it were not the concave wheels. I'm not a fan, but they do kind of look all right on that truck. Yeah, I don't, um, I'm not a huge fan of those those wheels. They're just so simple. They're a little too plain Jane for me. If you're gonna go with an off-road setup, I'd go with 
especially on the Fords, like a Venom Rex or a Method, something like that would look great on here, I think. It would get a higher score from me. Wow, a lot of Toyotas this time. 2005 Toyota Tacoma, Extreme Force XF3, 20 by 10, negative 19, Crosswind MTs, 285, 55s on a level from Texas. Surprise is not bigger if it's in Texas. Those guys go hard on their builds. Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, five. I was gonna say five. But <coughs> well, but you didn't say it. Because I didn't want to just match it. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's kind of kind of plain Jane for me. I mean, he's got color match bumper in the front, but chrome bumper in the rear. That TRD sticker, I don't believe, is a, the factory TRD logo on there. And then I don't know, just chrome wheels. Can't quite get behind. It kind of just reminds me of like my first truck build. I threw on all the bug guards, all the windshield yep. or the window guards. Didn't do like super wide wheels. Like it's a 22 by 10. It looks all right, but it's just nothing special. It's a good truck. It's a Toyota. It's reliable, but it'll you know, go forever. I don't particularly I'm not a huge fan of them. <laughs> well, good because we got another one. 2008 Toyota FJ Cruiser, American Force beadlocks. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people know that American Force even makes beadlocks. 17 by 9, negative 38. Cooper Discover STT Pros, 37 by 12 and a half and on uh, King suspension, three and a half inch lift. So this guy's actually using the crap out of his truck. It's crazy that you spend so much money on American forces and then just, just beat them up. But if you want a true forged beadlock, it's a good option. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, Eight. nine. That's higher than I thought. It's an SUV. I love SUVs. <laughs> really? Especially lifted SUVs. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought you liked SUVs. Although you have a topper on your F-150, so. Yeah. Makes it look like a grandpa truck. I love it. He's got uh, a lot done besides just wheels, tire, suspension, obviously. Like, so he's got the headlights done, he's got the bumper done, he's got skid plates. Uh, looks like he's got different uh, options as far as like recovery tools, high lift jack, he's got the uh, awning, full size spare. So, like, just went all out on a really nice uh, trail rig, essentially that you can still drive down the street to and clean it up and look good. Yeah, basically, it just looks super capable off-road. I wouldn't hesitate taking that down trails. Complete opposite, 2007 Toyota 4Runner, tough T2A, 24 by 14, negative 76, is on a max track suspension lift, and it's uh, definitely got some Cali Lean or Carolina Squat. Depends where he's from. Oh, is that North Carolina's plate? Is it? I think so. Wow. Okay. You got a number? Yep. Three, two, one, Five. nine. So nine Maybe for, nine? yeah, nine for a completely different reason than the last one. This, like, okay, so it's, everybody's gonna hate because it's got squat and it's got big wheels that stretch tires, but it is super, super, super clean for 07 Forerunner. And I actually do like this style of wheel on here. It looks like a forged wheel, but this entire wheel and tire setup is $3,400. I don't know. I could get behind this as a show vehicle. It's clearly not. I would never take it off road, but I like the wheels and tires. I like that everything's kind of paint match besides the grill because the grill's chrome goes with the wheels. But I answer every single phone call for suspension for <laughs> suspension. Yeah. For custom offsets and fitment industries, I don't understand the lean. It doesn't make sense to me. I can't imagine looking at the clouds while I'm driving. I don't. I can't get behind that. <laughs> That's why I gave it a five. 2001 Dodge Ram 1500. Wow, these are some very small wheels. 15 by 14s. It's like almost a square. Uh, Crosswind MTs, 33 by 12 and a half. But I don't know what he's got going on for suspension here. Five inch rough country and two inch coil spacers. But the back bumper is dragging on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so confused. Because he's got like an off-road setup, but then he's got this squat look going on here. Those tires look so balloony. You start a GoFundMe. Does he have spacers too? I imagine because yeah, like two-inch spacers. spacers. Look at how absolutely wide this thing is in the front. Negative 114 offset with two-inch spacers. Oh man, three, two, one, three. That went higher than you this time. Yeah, because you like Dodges, I don't like Dodges. So, <laughs> three, because I have something personal against Dodges that I just am not a huge fan of. I think they keep their body styles way too long. Um, and this truck just kind of confuses me as far as what look he's trying to go for here, because he could fit a much larger wheel and tire on the front, 
based on how much space he has there, but I don't know. He's got it sticking out so far that maybe he can't even turn these. I don't know. Why five? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Gave it a five because of Dodge. It looks nice. <laughs> I like the fourth gen bumper swap. If it had a completed lift kit, or if he took the front lift kit out and just had it like real low, yeah. really dog, I think it would be eight or nine for me because I love second gens, I love third gens, I love Dodges, period. You're weird. Oh yay, another Toyota. Uh, 2015 Toyota Tacoma, fuel cleaver, 22 by 14, negative 76, and then 37 by 13 and a half middle ridge grapplers on a 12 inch bulletproof lift. You know, I love when people do functional builds on Toyotas and then you see things like this and I'm just, uh, I'm like not as big of a fan of all of this. And it just sucks because, yeah, there's there's so much work put into this and I think I'd rather see 17 by nines. He's got a lot of paint work done, a lot of lighting, truck's massive. What size is it, 12 inch? Yeah. And then I would say 37s, wow. Yeah, and an inch and a half wheel spacers as well. So this thing's just absolutely massive for being such a tiny truck. And it's like completely done, audio and everything. Hmm. Ready? Yep, got a number. Three, two, one, eight. Yeah, one with eight, just cause overall it's really, really clean truck. And I don't, I can't really find anything to com complain about other than if it was my Tacoma, I wouldn't do this to it. I think the lift might be a little too much. It, just everything is a little over the top for me. Um, it looks nice, don't get me wrong, but it looks like he got the wheels, tire, suspension, and then just had a bunch of money, didn't know what to spend it on. <laughs> and just went, went crazy with it. Truck. Yeah. Hmm. All right, well, that's our 10 trucks. A little bit faster pace for you guys because that's what you asked for. If you guys want to have your vehicle featured, make sure it's in the gallery at customoffsets.com forward slash ad. That's how you get it in there. If you don't know, we have the gallery so you can figure out exactly what fits so you don't have to call Nick and ask him. You can just go on customoffsets.com forward slash gallery, enter in your year, make, model, and figure out exactly what fits your vehicle. So uh, if you guys want to have some fun, drop your numbers in the comments below, 1 through 10, and see uh, how your numbers compare to ours. Peace.